Hey folks, this is Kalani. Patch 9.1 will allow us to upgrade our legendary items past their previous maximum rank. They can now go up to rank 5, which is item level 249, and rank 6, which is item level 262. This isn't going to be quite as simple as just farming a bit more Solash, so let's dig into it and we'll show you exactly how to upgrade your legendaries to rank 5 and rank 6 in patch 9.1. The first thing you're going to need is Soul Cinders. You didn't think the dev team would let you slide with just an extra bit of Soul Ash now, did you? Soul Cinders is a new currency in patch 9.1 and you can acquire it from a few different places. The main source for Soul Cinders is going to be Torghast, I know, I know, Borghast, Chorghast, call it whatever you want, but we will be heading back to the Tower of the Damned to upgrade our legendaries further in patch 9.1. With all of the changes coming to Torghast, I actually think it's going to be a lot of fun in the new patch, but you can decide for yourself when 9.1 goes live. There are four new layers available in patch 9.1 which will be more difficult and scale higher than the layers we've had access to so far. Layers 9 through 12 are the only layers that reward you with the Soul Cinders currency, so you're going to need to progress further up the tower to earn what you need to upgrade your legendaries. You can get from 60 Soul Cinders at layer 9 up to 180 total Soul Cinders for clearing layer 12. That's per wing of Torghast and there are still 2 wings active every week, so you can earn a total of 360 Soul Cinders per week from Torghast, assuming you clear both wings on layer 12. We're not too sure if all 12 layers will unlock right away, so your Soul Cinders earning potential might be a bit lower for the first few weeks of the patch. It's worth noting that you can only unlock higher layers of Torghast by completing the previous layer and achieving a 4 star score at the end of your run. That means you can't just zoom through them all, you should clear as much as you can in your Torghast runs to increase your overall score. You can also get Soul Cinders from completing the Tormentors of Torghast event in the Moor. You only get the Soul Cinders once per week, but completing this event for the first time each week will earn you an additional 50 Soul Cinders. And then the Covenant Assaults in the Moor also reward you with 50 Soul Cinders when you complete them. There are 2 Assaults per week, so doing both of those will net you a total of 100 Soul Cinders per week in the Moor. So, with 360 Soul Cinders from Torghast and 150 Soul Cinders from the Moor events, you can get 510 Soul Cinders per week when everything is unlocked. To upgrade your legendaries to rank 5, you'll need 1,100 Soul Cinders, and to upgrade them to rank 6, you'll need 1,650 Soul Cinders total. So that means if you upgrade to rank 5 first, and then upgrade to rank 6 afterwards, you only need an extra 550 Soul Cinders to make up the difference. If you're curious, if you wanted to create a rank 6 legendary from absolutely nothing starting from scratch, the full price will be 5,150 Soul Ash, which covers the upgrades to rank 4, and then 1,650 Soul Cinders, which covers the price up to rank 6. Upgrading straight to rank 6 will save you gold, time and effort, because you won't have to get the rank 5 base item. Speaking of base items, that's the other piece of this legendary puzzle. As with previous upgrades, if you want to upgrade your legendary, you need the higher item level or higher rank of the base item that comes from the various crafting professions. So to upgrade to rank 5, you'll need a rank 5 base item, and to upgrade to rank 6, you'll need a rank 6 base item. Crafting these base items is going to work very differently from before. For ranks 1 to 4, you had to craft lots and lots of the previous rank to learn the recipe for the higher ranks, right? I'm sure you remember going through that legendary crafting grind if you did it. That's not going to carry forward for rank 5 and rank 6. To get a rank 5 or rank 6 item, you will need a Vestige of Origins. Getting this item is going to be quite involved, so let's take it one step at a time. To learn the recipe to craft a Vestige of Origins, you will need to reach Honored with the Death's Advance faction in Corthia. So yes, this will be gated behind a rep grind in 9.1. The recipe will also cost you 2000 Stygia, so be sure to save up a bit of the Stygia currency as we go into patch 9.1. You will also need to progress through the Corthia storyline until you complete the quest Untangling the Sigil. This isn't super far in, I think it's chapter 3 or 4. Then you also have to have max crafting in your specific profession to actually craft this item. 
With the recipe learned, the next step is going to be crafting it. Most of the materials are very typical, cloth, leather, oils and essences, depending on which profession you're crafting this with. The recipe is available for everyone who can craft legendary base items, so that's tailors, leather workers, blacksmiths and jewel crafters. But the big hurdle you will run into while crafting a vestige of origins is the Corthite crystals. You need 40 Corthite crystals per vestige of origins you want to craft. Corthite crystals come from Corthia. Unsurprisingly, you can get them from opening treasures, killing rares, some daily quests offer them rarely, and you can also get them out of the weekly and bi-weekly chests that are rewards for the weekly quest in Corthia and the Covenant assaults in the Moor. As long as you're spending time in the Corthia zone and getting some of this patch 9.1 content done, you should get some Corthite crystals passively. The most important part of this new material though is you can trade it and you can sell it on the auction house. So if you can't get enough for yourself, you can also buy it from other players. With all of the materials gathered, you can finally craft a new base piece. The Vestige of Origins is an optional crafting region, so the way this works is you craft a rank 1-4 to four legendary item, as you normally would, but then you also plug in the Vestige in the optional crafting slot. A Vestige of Origins will increase the rank of the item you are crafting by 2. That means to get a rank 5 legendary, you need to craft a rank 3 legendary with a Vestige of Origins. To get a rank 6 legendary, you need to craft a rank 4 legendary with a Vestige of Origins. It's it seems a bit needlessly complicated if you ask me, but that's what they decided to roll with. This also means that you need to be able to craft a rank 3 legendary base item that you want to be able to make a rank 5 legendary base item, if that makes sense. If you can't craft rank 3 legendaries, you also can't craft rank 5 legendaries. The same thing obviously goes for rank 6 legendaries. If you can't craft the rank 4 legendaries, then you can't slot in the vestige to upgrade it to rank 6. So you have to have done the legendary crafting grind already to be able to craft your own rank 5 or rank 6 legendary base items. Bear in mind that these new base items will also be tradable and auctionable, so if you want to skip over this entire thing and just say, I really can't be bothered with any of that nonsense, you can just buy your rank 5 and rank 6 legendary base items from the auction house or from other players, but I expect you will be paying a huge amount of gold for this stuff, especially at the start of the patch, so it's up to you for what you end up doing. With your soul cinders and new rank 5 or rank 6 legendary base item in hands, you can take them to the rune carver and upgrade your legendary gear. And that's all you need to know to upgrade all of your legendary gear in patch 9.1. What do you think of the system as a whole? Do you think it would have been better just to add rank 5 and rank 6 legendary crafted recipes in a similar way to rank 1 to 4 worked? Leave all your thoughts in the comment section below. A big thank you to all of our supporters over on Patreon and to everyone who subscribed on Twitch. You can see the names floating by on screen. If you want to see more videos like this, make sure to subscribe and ring that notification bell so you never miss another video. Thanks for watching folks, good luck and have fun and as always I'll see you next time.